Am I audible or not? Yes, sir, you are audible. So tell, if upside is 5 volt, downside 5 volt, what is the DC level? then what I can uh, do upar jitna hai niche utna hai to average value kitna hoga this is your DC level 0 ok whatever upside is changing same way the downside is changing so average value is 0 so DC level is here 0 volt ok now if I want to change the signal shift the signal upside or downside by how much then that is clamping ok suppose I will shift this signal like here I think you have done this one in lab also still you are not able to tell right let us take 2 volt so you see the dotted line uh, dotted diagram having this level is two or something like that maybe three or five whatever the condition then you can say the signal is shifted two volt upward or uh, if the signal is shifted like this then it is shifting downward by some voltage so if the signal is shifting upward or downward then you can say the dc level of the signal is shifting upward or downward so the circuit which is able to do this one is called clamper circuit so in communication circuit uh, we generally require this clamping thing because whenever the signal is given to one uh, circuit to other circuit maybe uh, somewhere it requires to shift the signal uh, upward or downward so here we use this clamper, clamper circuit so like clipper it is not uh, cutting some portion of the signal it is entirely the signal is shifted upward or downward so peak to peak voltage will remain same in clamper already uh, if you have done in lab have you done this one in lab yes sir. but you don't know what, what is happening you're not replying so <coughs> the circuit will be given and you have to find out output like uh, suppose this is a circuit capacitor is connected here one diode is connected then one resistor is connected parallel to diode this is a circuit here i'll give input and here i'll take output Now if I give input signal like this VI 0 VM minus VM T by T T by 2 T 3 T by 2 like this now if I give this input signal to this circuit then what is the output of the clamper so like clipper we have given some uh, steps here also some steps you need to remember so first step sir can you go to the previous slide mm, I'll, I'll go first uh, you see the step step 2 follow In clamper first step consider that half cycle of input which will 
करड बायस फॉर्ड बाय द डायोड कैपेसिटर चार्ज एंड ड्यूरिंग रिवर्स बायस कैपेसिटर होल्ड दैट चार्ज Okay, that means when diode is for biased, current will flow across the diode and capacitor will charge. And for opposite half cycle, the diode is off means the capacitor will hold that charge. Okay, you have to assume that one. Next, draw the equivalent circuit and. find the output voltage would go the waveform okay you have to note here During reverse bias condition, capacitor does not discharge. Okay, so these three step you have to follow, and you have to make this or. Assume that during reverse bias condition, the capacitor does not discharge. So, what is the first step? First, you need to find which half cycle the diode is on. During uh, on condition, capacitor will charge fully. Then, opposite condition when diode is off, capacitor will you assume that capacitor does not discharge. It will hold that voltage, and each condition. we have to draw the equivalent circuit and find the output voltage let me solve one question then it will be uh, easily understood to you now see here in this circuit you tell me which sub cycle the diode will be on so positive half cycle positive half cycle so for positive half cycle diode is on so i'll do the equivalent circuit pi greater than 0 d is on what is my equivalent circuit the capacitor then diode is ideal so short then resistor so here output voltage v not which is r this is c and positive half cycle means i'll represent minus plus vi so during that current will flow so current will flow means the capacitor will charge how it will charge this is plus this is minus let that voltage is vc okay current will flow in this direction is it clear short circuit the diode because diode is on during that current will flow across this circuit so current is flowing means capacitor will charge so i am assuming the 
voltage which is stored due to flow of current across the capacitor is vc and i have represented input voltage or positive half cycle as this vi output voltage as v not is it clear or is it yes, yes sir now here i want to find out the output voltage so in this condition you tell me what is the output voltage here to here that means the point between these two which is same as these two point which is same as these two point what is the v not what is my v not आई आर अच्छे से देखो इतना सारा होने के बाद अगर तुम आई आर बोलोगे तो बेस्ट माइनस वी सी एनी वन एल्स अच्छे से देखो और बताओ तो माइनस वी नहीं आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउटपुट वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस टू पॉइंट दिस इज सेम एज दिस टू पॉइंट दिस इज सेम एज दिस टू पॉइंट सेम एज दिस टू पॉइंट वर द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टू पॉइंट जीरो जीरो तो सर तो करंट कैसे फ्लो करेगा तो जब बोलते हैं तब सुनते नहीं हो सर्किट जो पढ़ाया था क्या बोला था उसमें फ्लो होता है लेकिन हम लोग वो डायोड इज शॉर्ट सर्किट फॉर बैस करेंट इज फ्लोइंग और नॉट What is the potential difference between these two point? Zero. Zero. Yes. Sir. Zero. Potential difference is zero, but current will flow. What is the issue on that? Understood. Yes, sir. So we not yes, sir. Zero. That means whatever voltage you are applying, all the voltage will capture by this capacitor. okay capacitor is when we give voltage or current the capacitor will charge how much it will charge it will fully charge okay so whatever vi i am giving that is consumed by vc how will know that apply kvl in this loop in this loop you apply kvl what will get uh okay tell me what is the kvl माइनस टू प्लस बी माइनस बी सी गोल्ड प्लस बी आई ऐसे नहीं माइनस टू प्लस प्लस बी आई प्लस टू माइनस माइनस बी सी हियर अक्रॉस शॉर्ट सर्किट जीरो इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो बी सी इक्वल्स टू बी आई ओके सो बी सी मैक्स इक्वल्स टू वी एम अंडरस्टूड Yes. Those who are confused about output voltage is zero, they can also put KVL across this loop. Okay, you get to know. So, if you put it like this, see here, if I am putting KVL like this, so when I am moving from here to here, that is V not, and across this short circuit, that is zero. So V not plus zero equals to zero. So V not equals to Zero. Understood. So applying cable in the outer loop, we are getting V not equals to zero. Applying cable in the inner loop, we are getting V C equals to V I. Is it clear to all? Yes, sir. So we have found out here output voltage as well as what is the capacitor voltage when the diode is on. Okay. Now. We'll go to the second condition when diode is off. When V I less than zero, then D is off. 
when it is off capacitor will remain same then off means open circuit here resistor plus minus v not r here less means plus minus vi now what i'll put across capacitor you go to the second point here in for bias the diode uh, in the for bias of the diode capacitor charge and during reverse bias capacitor hold the charge and here also i have written note during the reverse bias condition capacitor does not discharge that means whatever voltage is captured by the capacitor we assume in the negative half cycle or when the diode is off in that condition the capacitor will not discharge means it will discharge but what i assume the time constant is very high or large so that slowly it will discharge and we'll assume that the voltage is not decreasing as such okay so have you got this point yes sir. this assumption you have to take because uh, otherwise this clamper is not possible so this assumption we have to take during the negative half cycle or during the off condition of the diode the time constant is large time constant means what it will discharge so rc uh, here capacitor c and here r it should discharge through this so this time constant should be large so that it will be very slowly discharge and as such it will uh, not significantly discharge so we'll assume the voltage will remain same so in the previous condition what we have assume plus minus vc so here also i'll assume the same voltage here it will not discharge it, is this point clear so can you repeat once yes sir i am saying when the capacitor is charged during the on condition of the diode whatever voltage is acquired there that will not discharge significantly in the negative half cycle and we assume that whatever voltage is there that will remain same in the negative half cycle so okay. i have assumed here in the positive half cycle plus here see here plus minus vc i have assumed here so this same voltage will remain in the negative half cycle i am not changing that one is it clear now yes sir yes sir now i want to find out this is the condition in off condition diode is off and uh, the voltage across capacitor remains same as positive half cycle i am giving negative half cycle here then i want to find out the output voltage so i'll put kvl here if i apply kvl plus to minus minus vi plus to minus minus vc plus to minus minus v not equals to 0 what is v not v not equals to minus vi minus vc what is minus vi that is minus vm what is vc we have already calculated in the last one that is vm remain same So that is your Vm. So minus two Vm. Understood? Now again check the step. so this is my question input circuit then consider the half cycle of the input which will fold by the diode so first i have taken negative half cycle when diode is on then apply kvl to find out output voltage as well as capacitor voltage then i'll go for negative half cycle when diode is off and we'll assume that capacitor voltage remains same as it is in the previous case then apply kvl and find out the output voltage any doubt now we'll draw the output waveform 
so drawing the output waveform b not e t e by 2 e t p by 2 0 so what we have observed when vi is greater than 0 what is my output voltage is so 0 0 so it is 0 now for negative half cycle when vi less than 0 what is my output voltage is 2v minus 2v minus 2vm so minus 2vm means this is your Minus two vm again zero again minus two vm like that it will continue. So what is my DC level here? Average of this so DC level is v minus v minus vm. Now you see the initial input here. Vm and minus Vm, zero is the DC line. Now the same graph I am again redrawing here, like this, like this. Where this is zero, this is minus two Vm. Average is minus Vm. So you just visualize the entire signal is shifted downward by. V M. Is or no? This is your V M. If I add V M plus minus V M, what is the value? Zero. Zero. If I add zero with minus V M, what is the answer? Minus Vm. Minus Vm. Then minus Vm plus minus Vm. How much? Minus two Vm. Minus two Vm. That's what we are getting. Here zero. Here minus Vm. Here minus two Vm. You see here. Yes, sir. Earlier the signal is changing from here to here. Now it is shifted downward by minus Vm. Or downward by. Uh, Vm means it is automatically minus sign is there. Now tell me what is the initial input peak to peak and now peak to peak? What is the peak to peak voltage for input signal? You see here, from here to here, this is my input signal. What is my peak to peak? Vm two. Two Vm. Yes, two Vm. Vm plus minus 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 of Vm. Ah, minus of minus Vm. That is two Vm. Now here uh, output whatever we have got. What is the peak to peak? Zero minus minus two Vm. That is two Vm. So peak to peak is not changing. Why? Because I'm not changing the signal. I'm just shifting the signal upward or downward, so that the DC level is shifting upward or downward. Understood? Now instead of Vm, if I take ten volt minus ten volt, the signal is like this. Vi zero ten minus ten. Now what is the answer? Twenty twenty. No, twenty twenty कैसे होगा? Sir ऊपर में सिर्फ है. ऊपर में सिर्फ नहीं. Zero minus twenty. हाँ. Zero minus twenty. Zero minus twenty. The signal will be shifted downward. 
मैंने तो सेम लिया हूँ ना सिर्फ चेंज किया हूँ सिग्नल वैल्यू इंस्टेड ऑफ वी एम इट विल बी देखो तो जीरो कैसे हो गया तुम करो देखो डायोड ऑन था तो वी जीरो था ना वी आउटपुट ये कैसे आया है तुम्हारा जीरो अच्छा अभी एक काम करो मैं और एक सिग्नल दे रहा हूँ सेम इनपुट इनपुट को मैं थोड़ा चेंज कर देता हूँ देखते हैं कैसे कब का देखो मैं ये कीपर थोड़ा डिफिकल्ट है क्लम्पर इजी है यू कैन सी द सर्किट एंड टेल द आंसर बट इन एग्जाम यू हैव टू फॉलो द प्रोसीजर मैं यहाँ पे एक सिग्नल दे रहा हूँ फाइव वोट यर माइनस टेन वोट जीरो वी आई अभी करो तो बोलो मुझे क्या आएगा भाई जीरो माइनस ट्वेंटी अच्छा से वही जीरो से माइनस ट्वेंटी हो जाएगा बेसी कितना आएगा अच्छा जो जो बोल रहे हैं आंसर उसको देखो कैसे सिंपली यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड सर एक तो फिफ्टीन आ जाएगा भी आउट तुम्हारा यहाँ से पिक टू तो पिक कितना है फिफ्टीन सर फिफ्टीन yes, जो बोल रहे हैं जीरो टू ट्वेंटी आएगा तो उसका पिक टू तो पिक कितना है 20. उसका 20 20 था तो 20, तो तो मैं ऑलरेडी बोल चुका तुम्हें सिग्नल कुछ चेंज नहीं होगा पिक टू पिक रिमेन सेम देन ओनली आंसर इज वैलिडेड करेक्ट ओके सो तुम्हारा 20 हो रहा है यहाँ पे 15 में मतलब आंसर गलत अभी तो जीरो माइनस फिफ्टीन होगा क्योंकि वीसी तुम्हारा सर इसमें तो डायरेक्ट भी कर सकते ना सर माइनस ऑफ माइनस कर देंगे मतलब फाइव माइनस ऑफ माइनस टेन तो लेकिन ये प्रोसेस तो फॉलो करना पड़ेगा ना यस सर यस सर यस ये कंडीशन कंडीशन सर्किट इक्वेंट सर्किट अप्लाई के वी एल फिर उसके बाद ड्रॉ करोगे सिर्फ सिंप्लिसिटी तुम्हें वेरीफाई करना है आंसर करेक्ट है या नहीं है जैसे तुम क्लिपर में कर नहीं पाते थे तो यहाँ पे कर सकते हो कि एक प्रोसेस है पिक टू पिक रिमेन सेम तो एक लॉजिक से तुम्हें पता चलेगा तुम्हारा आंसर सही है कि गलत है लेकिन करना पड़ेगा ऐसे तो थोड़ी ना वो पांच मार्क का क्वेश्चन तुम लिख दोगे ऐसे ड्रॉ कर दोगे तो एक एक मार्क ही मिलेगा ग्राफ के लिए सिर्फ एक मार्क है प्रोसीजर के लिए और चार मार्क है सो यू कैन वेरीफाई वी सी आई एम गिविंग फाइव वोट सो वी सी विल बी प्लस फाइव एंड वी नॉट विल बी जीरो वोल्ट फिर उसके बाद नेगेटिव हाफ साइकिल में तुम्हारा माइनस टेन और ये तुम्हारा फाइव माइनस फिफ्टीन जीरो टू फिफ्टीन मीन्स इट विल बी Graph will be zero to minus fifteen. As we have discussed here, only the level will change to zero here minus fifteen. Similarly, also you can uh, take another question like upper ten, niche five. Okay, here you can take ten volt. Here you can take minus five volt, and you can proceed with that. Now we'll uh, go for another question. So, अभी मुझे बताओ ये कौन सा टाइप का क्लैम्पर हुआ पॉजिटिव क्लैम्पर या नेगेटिव क्लैम्पर किस साइड में जा रहा है नेगेटिव 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 साइड में जा रहा है सो नाउ आई क्वेश्चन लेट मी सी हाउ सर्किट कैपेसिटर एंड डायोड Here I am connecting a three volt battery. Now 
जल्दी करो देखते हैं कौन करता है ये तुम्हारा सर्किट है सेम सर्किट सिर्फ टायोड के कैथोड पे एक थ्री वोल्ट बैटरी लगा है देखते हैं सर वीसी इक्वल टू सेवन वोल्ट वीसी इक्वल टू सेवन वोल्ट ठीक है वी नॉट इक्वल टू थ्री वोल्ट हम्म निगड़े हफ्ते की निकालो सो माइनस सेवेंटीन माइनस सेवेंटीन तो थ्री से माइनस सेवेंटीन ट्वेंटी हो रहा है यहाँ पे ट्वेंटी है करेक्ट सो दोज हैव नॉट डन लेट लेट अस सी सो व्हाट इज माय कंडीशन वी आई शुड बी ग्रेटर देन थ्री वोल्ट इसी हियर कैथोड पे लगा है तुम्हारा थ्री वोल्ट एनोड पे उससे ज्यादा होना चाहिए सो वी ए मस्ट बी ग्रेटर देन वी के देन ओनली डी इज ऑन सो वी आई मस्ट बी ग्रेटर देन थ्री वोल्ट then diode is on vi less than 3 volt diode is off to so, jab on hoga kya hoga capacitor then short then 3 volt plus minus v not r 3 volt plus minus c C minus plus VI. So, यहां पे अप्लाई के वील करोगे तो V not minus three equals to zero. V not equals to three volt. Or directly you can take uh, it is simple. Then applying के वील here VI minus VC minus three equals to zero. So VC equals to VI minus three. So maximum uh, Vc max equals to Vi max equals to ten minus three equals to seven volt. Understood? Capacitor. Uh, logically also you can understand three volt to spend the diode on. So rest ten volt out of ten volt. Three volt is uh, lost to turn on the diode means seven volt will be captured by the capacitor. Understood? Yes, sir. Now VI less than three volt, so capacitor. Then diode is on. Uh, sorry, off. But it will remain same. Plus minus V not R V volt. This will remain same. VI. So apply KVL minus VI minus VC minus V not equals to zero. V not equals to minus VI minus VC. Minus VI means what? Negative half cell. How much are you? Minus ten. Minus E seven. Another seven. Huh? Okay. Yes. How to draw the waveform? You see. कैसे ड्रॉ करोगे ई वी नॉट सो फॉर पॉजिटिव हाफ साइकिल वी गेटिंग थ्री वोल्ट सो यू मार्क इट टी बाई टू ई थ्री टी बाई टू टू टी लाइक दिस सो आई एम गेटिंग थ्री वोल्ट वेन वी आई ग्रेटर देन थ्री देन 
सेवेंटीन टेन अगेन थ्री अगेन माइनस सेवेंटीन सो दिस इज माइनस सेवेंटीन दिस इज थ्री वोल्ट दिस इज जीरो सो दिस इज योर आउटपुट so entirely the signal is not shifting to downward it is shifting uh up to minus 17 volt okay 3 volt will be in positive direction understood sabko samajh mein aaya yes sir now it is easy than keeper or difficult than keeper Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So, could you please show the question once again? Question. Read the question. Thank you, sir. Now, those who have understood, you can change the voltage polarity here and uh, try to solve again. Same question, just change the polarity. It is very easy. So we see thirteen. Huh? Thirteen. Thirteen, sir. No, yeah. Signal. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We not. जब डायोड शॉर्ट हो जाएगा आउटपुट वोल्टेज कितना होगा सर माइनस थ्री हम्म वेरी गुड माइनस थ्री सर माइनस थ्री एंड उधर थर्टीन था और ये इधर टेन दे रहे हैं ट्वेंटी थ्री माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री इधर आउटपुट सर माइनस थ्री को माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री यस इट तू बी तुम्हारे ट्वेंटी हो गया हाँ सर दिस Plus, plus, minus. Uh, no, no. Instead of this one, it will be thirteen. So thirteen. So here we get minus twenty-three. Like this. Yes or no? Small change. You have to do it. Then output will be. T by two. Here we T. So minus three. Is that right? Yes. so you can uh, practice by taking more uh, change in like i have given 10 volt 5 volt plus 5 minus 10 or uh, 20 minus 10 plus 10 minus 20 non uniform input signal you can take and you can change the voltage here also i have given here plus 3 minus 3 you can take another voltage like this so if you combine uh, suppose i'll uh, give here 1 volt so combiningly it is 4 volt okay like that they will give the question cascading okay, of change in input voltage uniform non uniform uh, input signal and you can proceed with that this is the procedure okay and uh, tomorrow uh, next class we'll take the other type of clamper it is shifting downward that will shift upward you can also practice that one by taking 
just a simple change you orient the diode like this okay then it will be shifted upward so we'll discuss this one in next class if you have time you can practice so it is quite easier compared to clipper so you can get easily okay sir एट्टी स्टूडेंट ज्वाइन किए हैं दस लेट मी टेक दैट अटेंडेंस डोंट लीव यस सर यस सर ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड क्लिपर और विल टेक अनदर सेशन फॉर क्लिपर प्रैक्टिस करो ये सर एक आफ्टर प्रैक्टिस वी कैन टेल सर वन मोर क्लास और नॉट यस सर यू टेक वन वीक टाइम सो व्हेन यू मीट अगेन ऑन मंडे सो वी विल डिस्कस दिस क्लैम्पर एंड व्हाटएवर क्वेश्चन आई हैव गिवन इफ यू फाइंड डिफिकल्टी देन वी विल टेक अनदर सेशन फॉर क्लिपर ओके यस सर ओके थैंक यू हु हैज थैंक यू टू टू पर्सन हैव जॉइंड नाउ I have already taken the attendance. Those who are joining now, yes, sir, can you please check sir. once because sometimes we get disconnected in between. Sir, sir, eight sixty-eight. Sir, I have joined in middle of the class. Sir, I had we made exam. Okay. Okay. Eight sixty-eight. Okay. I will meet again on Monday. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.